Okay, folks, that was it. That was the Impala driving away for the uh, the Copart Project car Impala driving away. Sold it today. Um, didn't get quite what I wanted out of it, but uh, I got enough to make it worthwhile. Uh, we'll go over the numbers in this episode. Uh, this will be the last video on this car. So then we're going to turn our attention to the gray car here, which needs a transmission. And that'll be the next project car. Anyhow, uh, real quick on the numbers, just off the top of my head. Uh, the car uh, was a winning bid at Copart for $550. With uh, Copart fees out the door, it was $946. With all the uh, suspension parts uh, and driveline parts that I put in it. Uh, now, granted, most of those I had already purchased for the 2007 Silver Impala um, that I ended up using on this car. But I did count those as an expense. Um, everything in it all together I figure I have about $2,400 in the car uh, so we did make a little bit of a profit on it uh, not quite as much as I, I liked um, but it's getting to the point where I want to get busy on this uh, this gray car here and that uh, purchase will fund this next car um, so anyhow that's uh, gonna be it on that uh, on that black Impala um, it took quite a while to get there uh, but we did it um we didn't do it with any capital uh basically uh, the only capital i uh, i used was the a thousand dollars of insurance money i got for the silver car i used to buy the black car from copart in the meantime we had to buy another parts car i included part of that cost in the um in the black car basically what i would have paid at the junkyard for the parts that i used um not the whole price of the car um so, like I said, at, right at about $2,400, um, it was still profitable. I still made some money on it, although if you, if you count the amount of hours I put in it, I probably would have been better off uh, working at McDonald's. But that kind of wasn't the point. Um, we did a lot of stuff to that car that maybe I didn't need to do to sell it. But um, when it left out of here, it's going gonna, it's gonna to serve its new owners well. It's going to drive well. It's going to last a while. It'll be a while before they have to put any kind of money into it. So anyhow, uh, thanks for coming along on this uh, journey of the black car. And um, we'll look forward to the one behind me and getting that ready and getting that back on the road. And uh, I appreciate all the, uh, the comments and the sub new subscriptions. I'm up to 47 subscribers. So like I said, hopefully I'm, I'm hoping for 50 by December, December 17th. Um, also, oh, big update on the silver car you see it over there in the barn uh it's done um i got uh got it on its uh feet and uh, i did some pulling on the frame members pulling on the a post and um it can't be straightened uh the the door will never fit right um there's still a gap i got it to where the door will will fit on and close but uh things are just way too bent um so you can kind of see we'll go in here you can see that door is still sticking out at the top and that's as close as I can get. We've got some overlap on the front and the back doors. Um, so this car is done. I'm going to strip it for parts. I'm going to strip the black car for parts and um, we're going to call the uh, salvage guys and uh, they can tow them away for the scrap value. And uh, if I get a, a 150 bucks a car, I'll, I'll consider myself grateful. Um, anyhow, Thanks for stopping in. Thanks for continuing to watch. Uh, follow me on the gray car, and uh, we'll get that one back on the road. That shouldn't take too long. Um, we're going to do a transmission. We're going to do the oil pan gaskets and valve cover gaskets. We'll get it leak-free and running right, and that's going to be a spectacular car when it's done because uh, it's in really good shape, and like I said, it was dealer-maintained, so uh, everything on it is uh, from Chevy. So thanks. Have a great Saturday, and we'll talk to you soon.